let's integrate our knowledge of trig functions and single variable equations by solving a trigonometric equation. So for example, if we wanted to solve two sine of theta equal to square root of three, what are the angles theta that satisfy this equation? Well, the first thing algebraically that I would do is divide both sides by two. So this is equivalent to sine of theta being equal to the square root of three over two. So now our question becomes, which angles have sine value of square root of three over two? So looking at our unit circle, that's asking which y values have value root three over two. So going from zero to pi, that looks like it happens at pi over three and also two pi over three. So theta could be pi over three or two pi over three. But these aren't the only two solutions. I want all angles that have this value. So for example, if I went all the way around the unit circle, and then to pi over three, that would also have the same value root three over two. If I went all the way around twice and then pi over three, again, it would have the value root three over two. So really, we want pi over three plus any multiple of two pi. And that works for negative angles too. Starting from the unit circle, if I want negative two pi plus pi over three, that would land me up at the same point on the unit circle, which has the same y value, which is the same sine value. In a similar way for the angle two pi over three, if we went all the way around the unit circle and then two pi over three, we would have the same y value. So we want all angles two pi over three plus any multiple of two pi. So here this is true for any integer n. So the angles that satisfy this trigonometric equation are any two pi multiples of pi over three and two pi over three. Let's increase the difficulty by solving a quadratic trigonometric equation. So for example, if we wanted to solve five plus five sine theta is equal to cosine squared theta, we're asking what are the angles that satisfy this trigonometric equation? So the first thing that I wanna do is rewrite it so it's all in terms of just sine. It's definitely more difficult because we see a quadratic term, but also there's some sines and cosines. So if I rewrite everything in terms of sine, I can use a Pythagorean trigonometric identity. So let's not touch the left-hand side. But on the right-hand side, cosine squared, we can rewrite this as one minus sine squared of theta. Again, using our Pythagorean trigonometric identity, that's sine squared plus cosine squared is equal to one. And then if we move everything onto the left-hand side, I can rewrite this as sine squared of theta plus five sine theta plus four is equal to zero. Now, let's see if we can factor this into two linear terms. This is a quadratic equation in sine. So I want whatever these first terms are to multiply to sine squared. So this could be sine of theta and sine of theta. And then I want the last two terms to multiply to plus four. So this could be plus four and plus one or two and two, but whichever one we pick, we need the inside and outside terms to add to find sine theta. So let's pick plus four and plus one. So just checking this, our first term will be sine squared, four sine theta plus one sine theta is my five sine theta, and then four times one gives me that plus four. All right, so we factored our quadratic tri trigonometric equation into two linear terms, and these multiply to zero exactly when one of these terms is equal to zero. So that means either sine of theta plus four was equal to zero, or sine of theta plus one was equal to zero. So let's look at this one for a minute. So if I solve for sine theta, we're asking what angles theta does sine have value negative four? 
Now looking at the unit circle, sine doesn't have any values that are less than negative one. So there are no angles theta that satisfy this equation. Whereas if we looked at sine of theta plus one and solved for sine theta, I wanna know what angles does sine have value negative one? Looking at the angles between zero and two pi, that happens at three pi over two, but it also happens at any two pi multiple of three pi over two. So sine of theta is equal to negative one for any angle three pi over two plus two pi times n, where n is an integer. So again, the angles that satisfy this quadratic trigonometric equation are theta equal to three pi over two plus two pi n. In both of the examples we did in this video, there were infinitely many solutions. In general, trigonometric equations will have either infinitely many solutions or no solutions due to the periodic behavior of trigonometric functions.